Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to remove this awful toolbar pretty much on the top that locks into your systems. Now, people have probably got this thing from a pass from downloading, let's say, um, uTorrent or some torrent site. Or let's say you got it from a different program out there and this program as a third party got installed on it. It is nothing too much major, it's pretty much just another background program. And you would think that this would go away when you uninstall like uTorrent or something like that, whatever's related with it, how it got there. But it seems that it still likes to stay there. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So the first thing you do, this is the program right here. And then we're going to go ahead and see if we can probably can kill this program first. So to this, we can right click on the search bar, right click. And you'll see the task bar settings. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Task manager, so it comes up here. There it is, task manager. And it'll probably look like this. Go ahead and change it to a full view. And you see this program called Answer Box? That's the program that technically is running right now. So now it's technically gone for now, but once you restart your computer, it's going to come back up. And you would think that it'll be in the situation you, for it. But you can actually can disable it too, and you should be good, and it shouldn't come up. Somehow this program still likes to come back up, or it gets reinstalled again. So we'll be showing you how to continue uninstalling this. So the program's already been killed, where well, we just killed it from here. Technically, we'd probably be able to just uninstall it too, without having to do this. But I just wanted to be sure that the app's gone. So right now it has a little slot where everything kind of got shifted for what was that. Next we're going to do is go ahead and go to Start, and we're going to go to Settings. And you see it's still pretending it has that little block shield right there, so I can expand it. But that is being set right now. So we're going to go to Apps. And you see, looking through this stuff, you're looking for the program called Answer Box right here. And you'll press Uninstall. Before I continue doing this, I'm going to show you another route. You can go to Start and go ahead and type in Control Panel. And you'll go to Programs 2, Programs and Features. And you'll see the same file called Answer Box right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just exit this one out, it's another options. And you'll pretty much click the uninstall program. And continue yeah. uninstall and press yes. And it tells us that the it will uninstall the answer box right there, you'll press it. And pretty much this is completed, it tells you details about it. Now before I exit this, I'm going to go ahead and exit maybe the apps features, because I don't need it anymore. It tells us the list where they were located. So let's go verify if everything else got deleted too. So we're going to go to C drive, well compute this PC then C drive, and then we saw some list files right here that are underneath the user. So if your user is there, you'll go to users, the name of the user that you're using, and you won't see it, so you have to on the top, you have to type in slash app data, it takes you to this location, and then we're looking into roaming, and see if we saw anything else related to it right there, and I do not see anything called, um, answer box on that list so it seems that those files are technically gone I'm just going to check some other locations just to be sure um, let's go ahead and go to C drive again we're going to go to one that has the programs files if you don't see anything related to it you're pretty much good and we're going to go to program files on the regular one the 64 bit I don't see anything another one that could be hidden in there you'll type in C colon slash and you're going to type in program data it's a hidden one and we're gonna see if we have anything here I do not see anything so we look good last one to check for this we're gonna go to temp so we're gonna type in um, percentage temp percentage and if there's anything that was unnecessary from this list you probably just this is just temp files it won't matter anything you can probably select all and press delete and you'll probably be prompt to go ahead and press yes and whatever can't be just press skip because that means probably being in use skip so it cleaned up most of the stuff for it and then pretty much I'm gonna go ahead and close this program it's not need anymore and we're gonna go ahead and empty the recycle bin too and I'll tell us about it let's see if it clears everything out it says it's still there refresh it's gone so let's go ahead and now restart this computer and we're gonna see if we can fix this problem that was coming up Let's go ahead and be right back after I restart this computer.
And here we have it, that wonderful toolbar that we had on the top that was constantly coming up when you somehow got it from Torrent, Torrenting from uTorrent or some third party program. It is pretty much gone. Thank you for watching from Hilton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.